Metro police tonight are investigating a triple shooting near Brookside Park that killed two women and critically injured a teenager. And investigators say the witnesses who saw the violence happen are children. Metro police on patrol near Brookside Park heard the gunfire around 4 a.m., then discovered a deadly attack inside this duplex. Three people shot, including two women who died and a teenage boy critically wounded. Detectives say several children, not hurt physically, witnessed the whole thing. This is going to affect several families. This is going to affect a neighborhood, a community that's been trying to build back. I just can't believe this happened. This is ridiculous. Tony Poteet says her nephew lives in the home with his girlfriend, their kids and stepchildren. Up to eight children stay here from time to time. Tony's nephew was at work during the shooting, his girlfriend among the victims. There's nothing that anybody could do that is worth taking someone's life. This violence has to stop. Investigators say this shooting was not random, but a targeted attack. They believe multiple people with guns forced their way in and fired shots from both inside and outside the home. Tony Poteet says there's been gunfire here before, just nobody hurt until now. now. This house has been targeted. This has been going on for over a year. Several families are devastated by this incident, and they're going to catch the person who did this and then that person's going to go away. So your family, too, is going to be devastated when you go to prison for the rest of your life. Metro police are now using their child abuse detectives to interview the child witnesses, hoping to learn more about a triple shooting. Because they could have took out the whole family here. That could have been even worse. Now, so far, Metro Police have not shared any suspect information, but again, they do believe more than one person fired shots there. If you can help detectives, call Crime Stoppers at 317-262-TIPS. A 16-year-old is in the hospital tonight in serious condition after a shooting in Anderson. This happened around 7.30 last night. Anderson police say they found the teen in an alley east of Pearl Street. He'd been shot several times. Police have not named any suspects or made any arrests.